What's going on everyone? This is Gerard with MotorCigars.com and if you are smoking a cigar and it goes out on you, well there are some do's and don'ts that will help you save that great smoke and ensure you do not ruin the taste of the cigar. But before we begin, I need to click on that subscribe button and also click on the bell to be notified every single week with Mondays with Mortos. So there are some situations that you have to step away from a cigar or a cigar goes out on you. Well, we have some tips that we want to talk to you about how to relight a cigar without ruining the taste. So we'll go right into step one. First thing you want to do is definitely you want to knock off the entire ash of the cigar because when you relight it, just like when you light a brand new cigar, is you don't want to introduce the flame too close to the tobacco. So once you knock off the ash of this cigar, just treat it like a brand new cigar, bring the torch just next to it, and then gently twist it, and take your time, because smoking a cigar is a luxury, and it's time for like, almost kind of like meditation, like I'm doing right now. Um, just kidding guys, but anyway, so just relight it, and the reason why you wanna do this is because you want to make sure that you can see the cherry is being lit, and that way you're getting every single Part of the cigar the whole entire circumference of the ring gauge lit up and to ensure um, an even burn all right so tip number two once you have knocked off all the ash from a cigar you want to make sure that you blow out any excess smoke that's trapped within the cigar i know this sounds very unorthodox but blowing out the uh, smoke from the cigar like so as you can see right there, what I did is I removed all the stale smoke that was trapped inside the cigar. So once it went out, um, it was still in there. So before I relight it, I want to, um, tip number one, knock off all the ash. Tip number two, make sure you blow out all the excess smoke. All right, so tip number three, I have a open torch flame. And what I wanna do is introduce the flame to the cigar as if this is a brand new cigar, just because it has a little bit of ash does not mean that I'm going to torch the heck out of it. And once I give it a little bit of heat, I can see there's a little cherry burning there. As you can see, there's some smoke. And go ahead and... It's a little stale because, like I said, it went out, but we did the proper steps in order, therefore, it's not totally um, stale and nasty. And uh, last but not least, tip number four would be that if the cigar has been sitting there more than an hour, hour and a half, it depends, it's subjective. For me, sometimes I think two hours is too long of a cigar that's been sitting there, um, and it's gonna be really stale. I will go ahead and start from tip number one, knock off the ash, um, make sure that I blow out all the smoke, relight it, and if it's just really nasty, I just go ahead and get a brand new stick and replace it, unfortunately. But before I get going, I wanna hear in the comments, what do you guys do for cigars that went out? Um, how do you guys treat it? If you guys care or don't care? My name is Gerard, I'll see you next week. But before I go, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys.